Golden Road Arts is a nonprofit that offers art classes for kids so they can make the most of their own creativity. At Golden Road Arts, we believe that children's access to art is the key to reaching their full potential. Hi there, this is Barbara Mason. Welcome to Golden Road Arts. We're going to do some fun projects today. Um, you can see that I have on my mask because uh, I want to be very safe. I don't want to be sick and I don't want to make anyone else sick. And you can see that Artie also has on his mask. Now I'm going to take my mask off while I talk to you so that you can see me a little better. But when I leave this room, I'm going to put my mask back on. That's very important that we wear our masks. So one of the first things that we're going to do today is we're going to make a snowman. This is kind of the time of the year for snowmen. And so I have my snowman that I've drawn for you. And we're going to put this snowman on the internet so you can um, print it off if you want to. So what we've done here is I've drawn this nice snowman on kind of a heavy sheet of paper. And we're just going to color his, um, his little uh, ivy here, like, oh, holly, I guess this is called, holly. And I'm going to make his um, the little holly berries red. And I'm also, I think I'll color his nose orange. I mean, it is a carrot nose for a snowman. And then I think I'll make his hat, I think I'll make his hat this color. This is sort of a pretty blue. Now you can make it any color you want. You can even draw your own snowman if you don't like the one I drew. Certainly fine to do that. Now you notice that this snowman doesn't have any arms, but we're going to give him some arms here. We have a clever way of making arms. So he needs his uh, neckerchief and then he'll be ready to go. So we're going to color his little his little scarf blue. No, oh, and I can see I missed a little bit of his hat here too. I didn't get the underside. So now our snowman is looking pretty, pretty dapper here with his blue hat and his blue scarf. So what we're going to do is we're going to make him some arms and legs. And we're going to use paper to do that with. So what I have here, you've probably seen these before. If you haven't made these, I'm going to show you how to do it. These are little spronger things. We're going to put his mittens and his um, shoes on top of those little spronger things. So the way you do this is you get two pieces of paper that are about the same size. Let's see if I can get two that are the same size here. Two that are the same size and we're going to put them like this so they're at right angles. Do you remember when we talked about angles? These are right angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue this with our glue stick right angles like this. And I'm going to take a little piece of tape and put on here because I really want it to stick. I don't want this to come off when I'm folding it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the bottom one up over the top one like this. And then I'm going to fold this one over this one like this. Just back and forth all the way up until I run out of paper. So if you do this carefully, do this carefully it should work pretty well if you do it crooked you're going to have a funny looking arm or a funny looking leg but i guess since it's your artwork if you want to have a funny looking arm or a funny looking leg it's okay so we're just folding back and forth folding back and forth This looks pretty easy, but it's a little bit harder than it looks. Okay, now we're at the very end. We're going to put another little glue here to hold it together so it doesn't come apart. And you can see I have a little piece here that's kind of sticking out. It's kind of sticking out, so I'm going to just cut that off because I don't want it to be sticking out. Okay, so now I already made the other three of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put glue here. I'm going to stick one here for his arm, one for his other arm, 
And I'm going to do one for each one of his legs. So there we have his legs. But he doesn't have any hands or any feet yet. So I think what we should do, I cut some hands and some feet. So we'll see how we, how these look. I think I might make these green. I think he would like green hands. You know, if you had green mittens. So we'll just make our mitten green. And then we'll glue it right here on top of his little arm that sticks out. We'll make our other mitten the same color. Glue it on the other side. So you can do this. So you can color these any way you want. You can color your snowmen any color you want. Although snowmen are mostly usually white because uh, after all it is snow. So there's his hands, and now we've got his feet. So I think probably his feet are going to be, um, I'm going to look in my crayons here. I think probably his feet are going to be brown. So we just kind of color these shoes brown. And I just cut these out. You could make them any way you want, any shape you want. And you could color them any way you want. That's the nice thing about art, you know, you can make it, you can make it the way you want it because it's your work. So there we have his feet. Now we're going to put, I think I'll put the glue right on here. So we have his left foot and his right foot. And there we have our snowman with his, um, we have our snowman with his little spronger legs and um, mittens and his feet. And he looks pretty darn cute. So the next thing we're going to do is kind of a diorama. And um, we have some coloring pages. So this one we're going to put on the internet. I'm not going to cut this out, but we could cut this out. But I have another page here that's also going to be on the internet that you can um, just print off and color if you want, or you can make your own images. You don't have to use the ones I made. But um, what I did is I made a little gingerbread house, and so I'm going to fold this back to help it stand up like this. And then on the bottom, I'm going to fold it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the ball. Actually, I think I'll tape it because I think maybe tape will work better. So we have our piece of paper here that's like snow. And so we're going to put our gingerbread house in the back so that it stands up. We'll fold these around so that it helps it stand up. And then we have, I've done all these trees. And so we're going to fold the little piece of the tree under, the little white piece, and we'll get a piece of tape and we'll tape it down. And then when we get done, it should look like a forest around our house. I have to fold it back so that it stands up. Now I've used kind of heavy paper for this. You could use um, computer paper. Wouldn't be quite as strong, but I think it would work. This is kind of heavy paper. This is be like cardstock paper. So there's our tree. And here's a different kind of a tree here. This is called a these trees are called evergreen trees because they're green all winter long. And this is called this, a deciduous tree. That's a funny word, isn't it? Deciduous. Such a big word. What it means is that the leaves fall off in the winter. So these trees are still green. Their leaves haven't fallen off yet, but pretty soon they will. They'll turn yellow and red and their leaves will fall off. So there we've got... We've got those trees, we've got this tree. Okay, so now we need our, um, we've got a couple other little trees here, little green trees, uh, well, little evergreens. We're lucky to live um, where we have a lot of evergreens. They're so pretty, these evergreen trees. So you can see what I'm doing here. The um, bigger trees are in the back and the smaller trees are in the front. 
So does that make them look um, does that make them look bigger or smaller if they're closer to you? Things that are far away. can look smaller. Things that are close up can look bigger. Okay, so here's our bushes. The little bushes in the front. So you can color these any color you want. You can make your deciduous trees orange because it's the time of year when they are orange. Or you can make your you can make them um, green the way I made them green. It doesn't matter. It's a good thing about artwork because you can make it any way you want it to be. Okay, and you can glue this down instead of using tape. I use tape because it's faster for me to show you how to do it. But isn't that cool that we've got our gingerbread house and our trees. Now I want to show you how to make a gingerbread man because I think if we had a gingerbread house it would be kind of fun to have a gingerbread man. So what I've done here is I've taken a piece of paper, just computer paper, and I folded it in half the long way. It's called a hot dog fold. And um, it's called a hot dog fold because it's kind of long and skinny like a hot dog. And then I folded it in half again, and then in half again. Now the easiest way to do this is to draw your gingerbread man. If you try to just cut this out, believe me, it's hard to do. But if you draw your gingerbread man, it's a lot easier. So gingerbread man usually have a round head. And they have arms that stick out like this. And then they have feet that come down like this. So the important thing when you're making your gingerbread man is that the arms all stick together. See how these arms are stuck together here? If you don't keep their arms stuck together, then when you cut them out, they won't be together. They'll just be all little gingerbread men, but they will not be attached. And it's a lot more fun to have them attached to each other. Okay, I'm cutting them out. Pretty close to my lines. It doesn't have to be exactly on the lines. Okay, there we go. Now I'm making sure that I keep the arms attached. I'm not cutting, cutting across the arm. I want to make sure I keep it attached. Now here's his head. And we can go back and draw on these and put their faces in. And I'll just do one, but you can do as many as you want. So we can pick any color we want. Maybe we'll pick red. So we can do their eyes their nose and their big smile. Maybe some buttons down the front. Maybe we'll do some decorations on their arms. Maybe some, this would be like frosting, isn't it? If they were really cookies, they'd have frosting. And then you can do this on each one. And then when you open these up, you can see that they're hooked together. So they're gonna stand up and you can fold them any way you want. You can fold them in or out. And they're going to be gingerbread men. So we have two sets here because this was folded in half. So I guess we could hook them together if we wanted. We could hook them together with a piece of tape. And if you accidentally cut them apart, you could tape them together. It would be all right. So you can see that if you tape all these together, they stand up all by themselves just because of the way they're folded. And so they would look kind of cute in our diorama as well we could um, put gingerbread men in there. The other thing I want to show you how to do, this is a real simple thing, but you can see on my drawing here, this is just a Christmas drawing, and I'm gonna, or a holiday drawing. It's got snowmen and a deer and a package and a wreath. So um, we're gonna put this on the internet. You can download this, you can cut these out, you can color them any way you want. But I wanna show you how to make a star because making a star is pretty easy if you know how to do it. It's just like everything else, they're secret tricks. So the secret trick to making a star is you just make some dots. You just go one, two, three, four, five. Five dots, I like that in a circle. And then you take your crayon and you go to this dot, to this dot, to this dot, to this dot, to this dot. Look at that, perfect star. And that was pretty easy to do, wasn't it? 
just connect the dots. So you can make lots of stars this year by connecting the dots. Just remember, you need five. And the other kind of a star you can do is if you have three dots like this, you can make a triangle. And then you can make dots here. And you can make a triangle. Now this is a six-pointed star. So the six-pointed star is made out of two triangles. And the five-pointed star is made out of five dots. So I'm sure that you're going to be able to do that at home. Thank you so much for coming today and joining me and Artie at Golden Road Arts. We hope we're going to see you again soon with some more fun holiday projects. Since I'm leaving the room, I'm going to put my mask back on. I want to be safe. Golden Road Arts is a nonprofit that offers art classes for kids so they can make the most of their own creativity. At Golden Road Arts, we believe that children's access to art is the key to reaching their full potential. Using simple materials usually found around the house, we explore the basics of the creative process. Together with Barbara, her sidekick, Artie the Art Bear, and other Northwest artists, we invite you to join us on our creative adventure along the Golden Road.